I heard a voice. It's like a scratching noise. Please do it one more time. Oh my god! <laughs> we enter this world knowing only life. Yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, Whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. Tonight we investigate a location in Aintree where nobody has investigated before. Paranormal reports here are frequent, with guests and visitors, all having their own personal encounters. This is Aintree Conservative Club, known locally as the Connie Club, and believed to be the most haunted club in the area. Built in the early 50s, the building is not as old as you would expect for a haunting, but that doesn't mean there aren't plenty. Daily encounters are common here. Ghostly shadows have been witnessed. Voices and strange smells have also been reported. But even weirder is the presence of a ghostly DJ that appears to interfere with the equipment. So we're standing here tonight in Aintree Social Club and the first impressions when I come into this place is a welcoming one. It's a very warm atmosphere. However, I am picking up on a gentleman and he's sort of standing here overseeing the place. So will we pick up on him tonight? I'm not too sure. This building's been standing for about 50 to 70 years, so it's quite new. However, I think there's going to be a lot of history attached to this place tonight. You can feel the energy in the building, especially as you first walk through the door. It sort of blasts you in the face. Even though this is quite a young building in terms of its history, there's still lots and lots of energy and spirit energy. You can feel it that's here. We can smell things as we're walking around, like cigarette smoke, cigar smoke, and perfume, that these things are not natural. But what we do know is that they have been reported before by patrons and members of the social club. And I feel that as we investigate further tonight and go into the depths and the darkness of it, because it's pitch black as well without the lights on, whatever's here, and I feel like there's something cheeky here from what we've been told, I feel that that's going to come out because we've already heard strange noises as we're starting to film pieces to, to camera and starting to edit the uh, shots into the show. So I feel that like this is going to be a crazy, cheeky and mischievous investigation. As we prepare to start our investigation, it appears that the spirits are not prepared to wait. Right before the cameras had rolled, the meters had started to alarm. Um, and it was incredible to know that the energy in the place was so high already. Okay. What's going on? I'm setting up. I'm setting up. Yeah? I'm setting up. Unbelievable. And it's going off on its own. I have not even had time to put green screen on. Oh, that's amazing. I was just... You set it off again? Oh, that was amazing. Okay. Oh, that's going to bode well for the investigation in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is wow. amazing. Wow. Thank you very this much. Is so active. That's going off as well, the new machine. Is it? It's going off, look. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Guys, I'm not even in here yet. Oh my god. Look! I've seen it earlier. Yeah. That I've one? Seen it. I've seen it. It's going off now. Look. Whoa! Something else is going off. I think it's over there. The air pressure. Wow. Thank you so much. Listen to it. For all of the meters to be alarming at the same time, it was very interesting because they all have different sensors that interact differently with the environment around them. So we knew whatever was in here really wanted to make itself known. Oh my God. That's amazing how it's just going off. Wow. Thank you. Wow. That's really good. Can you stop it? <gasps> oh, come on. And then that again, that, the, the, the beeper. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Can you stop it? Walk away from it. Please, can you stop the machine? Wow, well, get in tonight, bitch. <laughs> and that's still going up the clock. Right, get out of me, low vigil. <laughs> Go and do yours. Sit a bit. With so much activity already, I had a gut feeling that this investigation was going to be incredible. I am here in the kitchen and it's all kicking off before it's even begun. It's uh, bizarrely stuff now. I said I, I was going to get out and, and start my investigation for real uh, because I was just setting up before and it all started going off. As you can see, look, it's still going off. Now this machine is new, this works on vibrational energy, um, so if anybody's working or touching this counter, which, here you go, I'll show you, yeah. see, so if anybody's walking on the floor, I was going to put it on the floor, but then I thought no, because people have worked and, and used these counters, this is the kitchen by the way, uh, I thought people have used the counters um, and so there'll be vibration on the canvas if we've got residual or if we've got if we've got a um, an intelligent spirit that we're working with tonight um, so yes like I'm... <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I can't believe it I just can't believe it do you know what I am super super stoked because the REM pod never goes off for me and it has, this is our very own REM pod that we've made and this is going off for me. I do have a REM pod at the far end of the table and also the singing bowl uh, in the middle. At the end there, there's a light by the ladder. That's the air pressure sensor. Uh, this is just a light for me. And I have the vibrational sensor and then next to that there is the K2 meter. This is fantastic. And I'm going to get straight in, guys. I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to show you what I can see and get straight into the investigation before I chuffle your ears off. Thank you so much. I am um, made up. Thank you. Can you stop the machine? Five, four, three, two, <laughs> two, one. Thank you very much. Ooh, I tell you what. It ain't half pitch black in here with the lights out, but I'm gonna head backstage to where there have been reports of people walking. You can hear them walking. This is one of the rooms back here, but the main focus, and I've left the lights on at this moment in time, is in this particular room. Now, this is where people don't like to come in. They feel creeped out, they feel scared, and you just try and get out quickly. But one of the major reports in this particular area is that when there's parties on or uh, the speakers have been left on, these buttons have been going up and down. This is a, a sound mixer, so they've been being pushed. So what I thought uh, I should do here to find out if I can um, capture anything is to put this device. This is brand new. If you, if you turn this on, this will monitor any steps in the room or taps on here if anybody touches this it'll alarm we've also got here a REM pod which will alarm now and also the pressure sensor which has just kicked in I'm going to switch the lights off 
you can see how dark it's going. I'm going to stick my infrared IR on. Right? Now, if anything comes in here and is spiritual, it should change the air pressure. If it does, this device will alarm and alert us and it will go off to red and beep. Just like that. Thank you. I've also got the yeah, REM pod there as well. But hopefully if anything comes near it, it will alarm. And it's audible as well. If anybody's here with me now, can you come close to me? Communicate with me? Make contact. My name is Sean. I'm a paranormal investigator and I only want to communicate with you. I know that there's people that are here. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is so quick as well. That was the pressure sensor. Ghost dimension. Ghost dimension. Now, earlier on, uh, I'm going to walk up here for you, for you guys. Earlier on, uh, as, like I was saying before, I was setting up all my equipment. I was standing there. Thank you. I was standing there and then it all started going off. Uh, so I did film it, which you've just uh, seen. And um, I thank you very much. I do think, can you turn it off, please? Can you turn the machine off? In five, four, three, two, I am just going to reset. Oh, <laughs> I was going to reset it, but no, I'm not. And this one's still going off. Um, now, with this this spirit that's interacting with the REM pod over there, I definitely think it's an old-timer. It's a, it's a gentleman who's a little bit older than the rest of us. Because when I asked before, which you will have seen, is that right? Did I, did I hit the nail on the head? Are you a gentleman that's a little bit older? Let's call it in your autumn years. Thank you very much for stopping the machine. The REM pod was alarming and it appeared to be intelligent. Did I, did I hit the nail on the head? Are you a gentleman that's a little bit older? In my mind's eye, I could feel, call it psychically if you wish, that this was an older gentleman and he was an active soul here. And I couldn't wait to communicate and find out more about this active spirit. Um, when I asked him to stop the machine, it didn't stop. However, when I asked him if he could please stop the machine, it stopped. So I definitely think this is uh, a gentleman that was definitely into manners, always please and thank you, which is which is brilliant, isn't it? Um, I came into this place, let me turn you around a minute. I came into this place tonight and I instantly feel, thank you very much. Can you stop the machine? Can you stop, stop the machine? I'm just going to reset it, guys, because I know how it can affect your ears on the camera because the speaker's quite loud. Um, I came... Oh, my God! What the hell? I'm... I could not believe what had just happened. As soon as I reset the REM pod, something made a loud noise. I'm just going to reset it, guys, because I know how it can affect your ears on the camera because the speaker's quite loud. Um, I came... It would appear to me that the gentleman that I was communicating with was not happy that I'd potentially broken his form of communication. It was incredible to witness. I know there's people around here that like and have memories attached to this building. And I want to find out what, who you are, what your names are, if we can hear you audibly and why you want to communicate. This is the stage area right here. Can you walk towards me? Oh, no way. I heard a voice then. I couldn't physically make out what it said. Uh, thank you. That was you, wasn't it, I heard? The activity in this place was immense and we both started to experience different things instantaneously. You kind of expect that with a building that's never been investigated before and you find that the spirits are keen to communicate. 
So it wasn't surprising that we caught the audible voice on camera. And after replaying it in the edit, the voice was louder and it clearly was disembodied. <gasps> it was crazy to listen back to it and I couldn't wait to capture more. I heard a voice and it was like a gruntled voice. So hopefully we got that on camera. We'll have to play it out back. But the alarm, the meter alarm, the pressure sensor, there's a lot of atmospheric changes in here. And as you can see in this particular room, there is nothing that could cause that. It's a locked off room. Thank you so much. Can you light on, can you touch the device on here, on this side? Make it alarm. Make it alarm. I'm just gonna try something with this. I wanna just put this in here, okay? There we go, see if anything walks, it's gonna alarm. Can you come close to me? Walk towards me. I don't know what your name was, I missed it. So you're gonna have to repeat your name to me. My name is Sean, and I'm a paranormal investigator. What is your name? Okay, I'm gonna leave you there for one moment, and I'm gonna go around here. I heard the, the alarm then. Did you just beep the alarm? Can you do it again? So yeah, when I came into the building, let me turn you around because I definitely want to tell you this. Uh, when I came into the building tonight, and every time I come into this building, it's almost like somebody's... Air pressure, air pressure sensor. Thank you very much for setting it off. It's almost like somebody, um, it's, it's an older gentleman and he's quite thin and quite tall. He's wearing glasses, he's got white hair and his thing was always he would wear a tie with a tie pin and he'd always have a tissue in his top pocket of his suit jacket and this is how that gentleman used to, used to walk around. He always believed in dressing smart and the, do you know just the first name that came into my head was Arthur but I don't believe that's the man's name. I don't know why I don't believe that's his name though, but that's the only name that's in my head. Um, and I do believe that he stands and looks out to the function room with pride. And when, when I do see all of this and feel all of this emotion in, in uh, me, in my, my, myself, um, thank you very much. I definitely uh, feel like he's got a lot of love to give. And it's also something else that comes into my brain when... That was a lady. Hello? Are you over by the sink? It's like a scratching noise. That was definitely a lady, that. Hello? everything has stopped all of the machines have stopped since i was talking um, when i am thinking about this gentleman i can hear ring 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 but it's like you know the old landline that that ring if if you remember that that's the noise that i'm hearing and it's to me that's there's a message that he wants to get across to people and the living who are still living and it's his family and because i get such a nice um such a nice feel from this man. Um, I thought somebody was outside then. Hello? 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 I'd just captured the voice and I couldn't at the time make out what it said. Um, but looking at it back, it did sound like it said, hello. And it's also something else that comes into my brain when that was a lady it was also strange um, as I believed I saw somebody uh, and then there was a bang from this man um, I thought somebody was outside then hello 
it's common to catch spirits at the last moment and, and normally in the corner of your eye. And I felt that somebody had just joined my investigation. Ghost dimension. Ghost dimension. I heard you. Please do it one more time. I hope we got that. Sometimes, when you least expect it, is when the spirits come out to play. Now, I don't know if you've noticed or not noticed, but I've moved away from the room where the equipment's set up, where the reports of the activity are. We can still hear it if it goes off, but it's not going off, which means that it was power. No way. I heard you whistle, Len. Can you do it again? I heard your whistle. Can you whistle for me again? I'll go in here. Can you come closer to me? Use. Sure, I heard another whistle then as well. Use my energy. Are you walking? Walk on the stage. Come on. what I'm saying this is the first investigation of this this building and I'm saying at this at this moment in time I feel like I'm being watched and as soon as, as soon as I'm saying that the mix is going again and someone's touching the back of my head at the side can you can you do that again can you make my hair move touch the front of it it's quite scary um because I get such a nice feeling from this... My God, no. Is that you? Who I'm talking about? Are you quite cheeky? There's a knock in here then. On this wall. Hello? Can you do back? Knock back? Quite weird, isn't it? Oh, it's knocked. Thank you. Can you knock it again? Can you tap that? Oh, that could have been my coat. It hit the. Can you tap that? Can you knock it again? There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just on this side, see if you get the K2 as well. Can you knock that? Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't tell you how much this is brilliant evidence tonight. Uh, when I think of this man, like I was saying before, I definitely feel like he's got a message for the living, his family, his friends. And I, I feel like it's a message to say, I'm doing good, I'm okay. Uh, I'm, I'm happy, I'm at peace, I'm at rest. And it feels really wholesome when I think about this man. However, I do feel like he's a little bit of a jokester <laughs> and uh, we definitely witnessed that tonight with all of the equipment going off can you set my REM pad off please or have you gone past that stage and and gone to something else can you set it off touch the meter in this room again i'm going to give you a countdown in five Four, no way. I literally just saw something flying. It looked like an orb. There are lots of explanations floating around for orbs, and the most common one is that the dust. And I tend to believe that as well, but the thing about dust is it comes in abundance. And this particular capture, you can see that there's only one orb, and it appears to manifest and float away 
from the device it was communicating with. Could this be a sign from the spirit? And maybe it was starting to manifest itself. It doesn't seem to be any more around in the area. Was that you who came from this device? Did I just capture you on camera? Have you gone towards that device now? I heard you and I, I saw it then, I heard it and I saw... Yeah, okay, thank you for the acknowledgement. So I heard the device there, which is the uh, vibration sensor alarm and then the meter again, the pressure sensor went off. I tell you what, this is proper weird. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try something right now. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to probably stand there like that, okay? I know you can hear me, but can you show yourself on the camera? In 5 4 3 2 1 My name's Sean. I only want to see you. I just swore then. Literally. I thought I saw something in the back. Just as it was coming to stand here. What the hell? Oh! Okay. I just got pushed over like somebody just pushed me out of the way to get past. This experience for me was incredible. I physically felt someone push me. And then I saw something out the corner of my eye that I could not explain. What the hell? Oh, okay. The feeling of somebody around was immense and I couldn't believe what happened next. Five... Four, three, two, I heard your voice, thank you. Oh my God, that came from down here, unbelievable. Is anybody there? Walk towards me again. I heard you right there. Now the one thing I did want to do tonight was I wanted to, um, I'm going to put you there. And I did, oh, who's that? What's that? Oh, that's the air pressure sensor. I wanted to do the singing bowl because we haven't done the singing bowl in quite a while and it would be nice to do it tonight in this environment where it's, it feels quite nice, it feels wholesome, um, but he's very active. So I'm going to do this, there won't be any noise at the minute from me, just the singing bowl. Air pressure sensor. pick you up again. We're doing the singing bowl. It changes the atmosphere. It changes the uh, vibrational atmosphere because he puts that tone into the atmosphere. It changes it. Oh, thank you. 
don't know if that was me going past it actually it changes that uh, plane and it makes it thinner and it makes the vibrational energy a little bit better for spirit to come through and pass through to communicate with us I'm going to turn you around and we're going to call out once more can you knock for me again please I know your name's not Arthur but or Arthur keeps coming into my mind I know you're not Arthur though so can you do something else for me Took my breath away. Oh my God, there's a knock in the fridge. You knocking the fridge? Fridge is not on. Ghost dimension. Ghost dimension. Oh my God. Come closer. I feel like you're there next to me. physically something walking I'm just gonna move the sensor because if we get in these movements in that corridor it would make more sense to stick this here okay I've got a sensor or device on the floor if you want to come close to it and bounce on the floor walk on the floor it will alarm I'm going to challenge you again to do it. Thank you for what you've done so far, but please can you do it again? In five, four, three, two, and one. No, never does it never moves like I want it to. Oh my God. Again then. I know we sometimes dust is classed as orbs, but literally these orbs are coming from the devices. This is weird. Was that you I just saw trying to affect the device? Give me something. Come on. Can you set some of my equipment off, please, again? Can you set the... Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Can you set the REM pod off? It's like he's playing... Can you knock on this door? Can you knock? Oh, did you hear that? Oh! No way. If I open that door, will I find you? Will I find you on the other side? Oh, door's locked. If I come round, will I find you on the other side of the door? A little bit scary. <laughs> A little bit scary doing that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Are you standing there now? Can you knock from the other side? Thank you. I don't think that was the other side though. That definitely was a knock. Are you back in the kitchen? Sounded a bit distant. Nothing goes off. You know, when, we, when I've come in, was that door open? Was that door opened? Did you open the door? I closed that, I'm sure I closed that and there was a little gap. Is that door open? Can you open the door? Can you open the door? Is that open? I can hear. Like it's moved away. It's like a faint, faint tapping. But I definitely caught something on camera. I can't wait to see. Oh my God. There was a noise there. I don't mean, so, oh, Jesus. What's going on in here? The door just literally 
Maybe it's meant something so smart. Did you just throw something at me or just try to push me away again? This is like the spirit just wants to push me away all the time. I'm in the way, I'm in the way. Can you make that device go off again? If I'm in the way, let it be known. Come on. It's very much a spirit that does not want to perform on command. If anybody's still with me, please make yourself known. Walk on this floor and walk towards me. Come on. That was that again. Thank you. I heard you, but come out and follow me. Okay, listen, I'm just going to walk here. Hello? That was a female voice again, saying hello. Hello? Hello? Can you come closer to me? Instead of setting this REM pod off, can you set this one off, please? What if we put one on the floor? Ooh, thank you. If I just put, try putting that on the floor. It will go off. Let me get away from it so you guys don't get... Your ears. Drums bleeding. Can you set that REM pod off? Please? No. Guys. I was not expecting this. The vibration sensor's just gone off again. Um, I was not expecting this tonight. I'm pleasantly surprised with this kitchen. There was a lot of atmosphere, a lot of goings on, a lot of busy things happening in here over the past quite a few years, actually. Um, and it seems to, to me that there's residual energy. And I think that's why we were getting the tapping on here uh, I think people are going uh, 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 along with their daily lives and I think that's why we're getting that and a lot of the equipment's going off but I do think there's uh, intelligent spirits in here and I can't wait to see what else I find tonight I like it Okay, I'm going to stand here you can do it for me, I know you can One Two Three It didn't go off, but I for sure heard the banging of it then. Oh my God. Hello? I'll tell you what, the energy now is building up to the point where you know something good. It's like a hissing in here. I don't feel it's any, um, Negative, but it's a hissing. And what I'm going to do, hello? I'm going to join up with Bex and see what else happens as we team together and investigate where the activity seems to be now pushing towards, which is the main dance floor area. With so much activity already, what would we encounter as both Bex and I join forces? and delve deeper into the building. We've set an experiment up in this room because this is the room where uh, a lot of people have seen things walking, shadow figures in the mist as well. And there's a lot of smells in this room that people have reported. So what we've done in the main area of this building is right from this corner over here to there, we've set a laser trigger. So that goes from there all the way over to that light there. If we walk through it, it'll beam off, okay? Just show you. Because we've just triggered it, I just have to reset it. There we go. Now, on the middle of the floor, we've set up a device um, 
we've set well, we set up the the, the uh, vibration sensor. So if anything walks on this floor, it's solid. They're going to sense it. We've also got a REM pod over here that's set up. The laser beam is already it's been going triggered. off. It's been triggered. I, I think it might be us that's triggered that. Okay. So I'll, I'll reset. I'll reset it for now. Okay. But okay. I don't know. It does. It's quite strong. There's some movement over there. I can hear it. Well, this is, it's going off again. We've also got marbles here, so if anything is moving, we'll capture it on the camera that we've got over here and across, because there's a lot of Catholics here. Right, and sorry, not Catholics, uh, religious people. I'm just going to reset this. This just seems to be alarming. It's like it wants us to come. But you know what? There is movement over there. There's a lot of sound over there. There is. Mm. Oh. If you're here oh. with us now, We'll step off the floor. Yeah, I think we should. we we'll step off here. Come close to us. Communicate to us. Tell us. Hear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. that you? We can hear you walking towards us. The floor here is solid. I also have a K2 in my hand as well, so if that goes off, I will tell you throughout the night. The floor's solid, so if you walk on this floor, we will hear you. There's loads of things as well that you can push. There's marbles, there's things that you can touch. If you want to touch them, do it now so we can hear you or capture you on camera. Blow them. We all go down to the pool. We have to step over the beam to ensure it doesn't trigger by anything that we do. Somebody's moving yeah, 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 down yeah, yeah. there. Let's go down. Somebody's moving down there. Do you know what it sounds like, though? It does sound like marbles. Yeah. Do you know when you've got, let's call it a, a tub of marbles, it sounds like somebody's, like, picking at the marbles, you know, making them knock against each other. Listen. Go down. It's at the back. It's at the back. It is. Turn the camera and see if we can capture it. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah. Oh, I'm walking into a table. Listen. Listen, point it. I think it's. I think it's over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Do you hear Stop. it? Let's stay still. Stay still. Is it at the door? Ready? Can you do it again? In five, four, three, two. No way. What was that? It was like a dunk. Something in here and it's watching us. I feel. Yeah. yeah, at the door. Door. Door again. Listen, marbles. Marbles? Now, if that moved, it sounded to me like marble got off the road. If it moved, it'll be on. What? It's a lady. Boys, a boys. That's a lady. Yeah. There was noises all around us, and every time we moved to a different area to try and capture them, they seem to distance themselves and move away. That's a point it. I think it's... I think it's over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you hear Stop. it? Let's stay still, stay still. I can't explain what they were, but what I do know is we were not alone. Are you here? She's down there. Where? She's by the Right, so can I tell you what happened to me now? Yep. So I was visiting the little girl's room before... And when I was in the middle cubicle, the one to the left of me, some, it sounded like a woman sobbing. Oh, it sounded like a woman. Videoed it. I, I videoed it. the aftermath, because we're sitting on the loo. Um, but it sounded like somebody was sobbing, and I swear I just heard some, a, a woman's voice. OK, so, bit of a strange one. I've just been in here, using the little girl's room, and when I was in the cubicle, I could hear a lady sobbing right next door in this cubicle. Don't want to show you too much of the toilet, but in there, I heard um, it was like a lady crying, sobbing, weeping. Um, this place is steeped with history. There's so many people that have come in and out of it, and it made me, it made me petrified. 
He was sitting on the toilet and I was thinking, I don't want to come out. I'm petrified. I'm heartbroken for the lady that's sobbing. But I was petrified and I knew there was nobody in this building either. There's nobody in it. We've just got it. Just us. So who was the lady that was sobbing in the cubicle? Will we see her tonight? But I'm a little bit scared to come back in here on my own. <laughs> Is that you? Are you with us now? Walk on the floor. Don't be afraid. The beam is not going to hurt you. We know you're around. We heard you on our own investigations. It looked like that meter was flashing then, you know. The floor meter? Yeah. If it was, we'll have it on camera. Yeah. Can you flash that floor meter? Oh. It's weird. We've got marbles on the floor. It sounds like marbles. It sounds marbles. like the moving them. I think we should go. Let's go to the back. To the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> We're not going to try... We're trying, going to try and lightly step on this floor. As to... Oh. Was that us? I might have been. We have to... We can't take that, can we? Can you do it again? If we stand still. Come on. Walk, walk towards us. Don't be afraid. Jump by the marbles. Go on. Is that on record? I hope it's on record. Yeah. On record? That's me. Mm -hmm. So you can see how sensitive that is. Jump on the floor. In five, four, three. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Can you do it again for us, please? One more time. Or could you take a seat on the chair? If you took a seat on the chair, then it would register on our meters on the floor. Then I wanted to do it. Come on. Our energy here is just for you guys that are in the spirit world that want to communicate with us. So please use it. Use what we've got. We only are here to hear your voice and what if you've got any information to tell us the way you passed, anything like that we want to know because we know that you've been seen multiple times in this building okay, keep your eyes on this beam ready something was about to cross this beam I just saw a light, a light I normally go through I the beam I saw that yeah. in the corner of my eye I'm just going to give it a bit of light to see something went through it can you walk through the beam again? but break it this time oh Oh my god, oh my god, did you hear that? That was a man's voice saying, yeah. At the back, yeah. Are you, are you sitting up there? Do you oversee everything and watch everybody drinking? Oh, what was that then? I don't know. I, I heard like this you. Move. Like, well, it felt like I, it, somebody sat down, didn't it? It sounded like... Maybe this was all benches one day. You know, in the past. Can you sit down on one of the chairs again? Do you hear that? Okay. Woo! Oh my god. Is there anybody? What is that? There's so. It's quite active, isn't it? There's so many weird noises in here. Ooh, oh, got a light. I can smell the cigarette smell. Behind, 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 behind. You sitting over there? I'm going to tap on this. Can you tap back? Ready? You can tell our meters going up in the background. That's how sensitive this is. Can you tap on it? The sounds that we could hear didn't appear to be caught on camera. As always in the paranormal, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Feel the atmosphere changing. Yeah. Listen. One. Somebody's saying one, two, three. Can you move an out? Thank you. Can you move an object in here so we can feel like I got pushed here before? 
I think he was pushing me again. No way, man. Did you, did you feel it? I feel like stupid now, but I do. Something jipped me into the shoulder. And Maybe he doesn't happening. like you. I feel stupid. Maybe he doesn't like you because you're not polite. I'm polite. You're not polite. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll be polite. Say please and thank it's you. It's like it jipped it. I... Machine. 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 Yeah. This because machine. it was scoring past for the yeah. machine. It's a laser. Can it's you see? It's a laser. It's a laser. Oh, thank you very much. We well, we know that you just did that. See, so was it you? It was you, wasn't it? That you oh, passed me. Stopped. Stopped. No, I started okay. again. Was it you that went past me? Did you push Sean? I couldn't believe that I'd just been pushed again by a spirit and it, as if it had scurried past me. And I believe it did and it went straight over into the main hall and got caught in the laser beam. No way, man. It's the laser. Oh, thank you very much. This is why it's vital to set up multiple experiments in a location because it gives you the best chance of capturing something paranormal. I've got an idea. Okay. Should we grab the pause? Yes. Right. Can you affect our meters in any way, shape or form tonight, please? Let's put it behind the stage. Let's go to behind the stage. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. We've just got pushed, yeah. Okay. It's a joke for the spirit. Joke for yeah, it is. He's, he's, he wants to... He wants to play. Yeah. Uh, it's twice now. He's, he comes across as like a granddad figure, though. You know, like sort of no harm. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get the portal switched on. Okay. Which is here. Yep. If anybody's here, you can communicate with words in this device by manipulating it. Come close to us and tell us who you are. Somebody just behind us. This always gets the energy, doesn't it? I don't like standing there. I'm going to stand here. I really don't like standing by that door. We're going to push here to go past. Oof. Want to do something? Yeah. Can you tell us your name? 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 That's not nice, is it? Oh! My Lord. Listen. Oh, I don't like that! Okay. Ah! I heard something about my name then. What? He said what? It's about oh, the show. Oh, oh, say my name again. What did he say? Behind On you. you or behind you or something. Did you push me? Were you the spirit that pushed me? We put them in place. No way. Did you hear that? That was as clear as day. We're putting them in place. Yeah. The answer. Give us something else. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Were you a member here? What? I. Did you? you... <laughs> Did you used to watch people? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Kicking off. It sounds like kicking it's out, you. kicking off. Sounds like it's a joke. Yeah. Um, it's your name Arthur. I'm not. It's unbelievable. Cut. Cut. We're gonna turn. Okay, okay, we'll switch it off. We'll switch it off. You don't want to use that? I tell you what. Oh, wow, it's a powerful, powerful I tell, man. I tell you what, let's just Should we go out there? Because somebody's out there. Did you hear that? Yeah, 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 yeah. And somebody said yeah. That's weird, man. This, although young for history, I is some, very active. active. Yeah. And I just can't believe. No, I can't believe the level of activity in this place tonight. But the clarity of responses. Yeah. Can it's I amazing. try something? Yeah. If we put the um, camera down mm -hmm. at all, 
So have we put something under it? Yeah. To see us? What are you wanting to do? I want to hold hands and I want to call out. Okay. Because this, maybe put that underneath. Yeah, well, there's a book there. If it's not... Like, yeah, but, yeah, but if we stand further back, it'll we just, You won't be able to hear us, I don't think. Come. Ready? Right. Here we go. Stand here. Put the light in the middle of us, on the floor. Just get rid of the light. OK. No, no. So it's on. Oh, I'll just... Uh, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what I'll do. Stick it on there. OK. Right, so if we hold hands... Yeah. ..and we talk quite loudly so you can hear us, if we can drum up some energy and see if anything can affect the metres on the floor... Obviously, if anything goes off on the floor, we'll pick the camera up so you guys can see. Or anything can happen up here, or we can be pushed. Or if there's any noises that come through on the comp on the camera, um, I think we should firstly maybe go into a zone and then call out. So we're going to close our eyes. Is there anybody here? that wants to communicate. Oh. Instant. That was an instant that bang behind there. us. It was like a <sighs> on the floor. My name's Bex. And I'm Sean. We're here to communicate with you, to find your story. Can you come and affect us or our meters? Wow! Straight away. Wow, let's take the camera. Over there. Straight where away. The meters are. Yeah. While we attempted to communicate with the entity in the building or the entities, we caught a loud thud on camera. Can you come and affect us or our meters? Wow! But what we didn't know is that the lock off camera had also captured something at the same time. This, for us, as an investigation team, was an amazing capture and just goes to prove the existence of the afterlife. Can you come and affect us or our meters? Wow! Straight away. Wow, let's take the camera. Tell you what. Amazing, is all I can say. Fantastic, wasn't it? Because it's the first time this has been investigated, the energy levels are high, the spirits, they're interested. Do you know what? That's why we like as well to do uh, locations for the first time ever. Because when you come into a place like this, as uh, like Sean said before, it is quite recent, it is a new place, um, but the level of activity is immense. Uh, because it's never been done before, so the spirits are, are eagerly awaiting us. <laughs>